Hello, my friends, and welcome to MB Shoe Doc, where we take the ordinary and make it extraordinary. We will be covering the art of patina and shine and learn to breathe new life into old shoes. So grab your dyes and polishes and get ready to get your hands dirty, and let's dive right into today's project. have what should be a pretty exciting project. So this is one of my own brand, Michael Darren Shoes, that I'm going to custom patina for a client. So it's actually a, a friend of mine that is going to be getting married. This is white crust leather. It's full grain Italian leather. Even the sole is unfinished. You do a custom patina on the sole as well. So. Very excited about this. Oh, that was impressive. Starting with some Saphir in Bordeaux. I usually like to pour just a little bit into the cap and use that. I do always like to wipe my brush off. I don't like it to be too oversaturated. So I think that's a good start. I'm going to very cautiously try to fill in these areas here without getting it onto the lining. So that'll be just a little bit tricky. And it'll go slow and steady on that. I think I'll need a, a finer type of brush to, to really get that. So I did find a nice uh, fine tipped brush. I'm able to use that on this inside part. Pretty happy with how that's looking. But now, got a second color. So this is Fibings Oxblood with a little bit of black, so a custom color mix here. This is the second color I'm going to use. Alright, so yeah, much darker color, more of the wine burgundy color I was going for. This is, uh, you know, obviously too light, but you want to start with that lighter undertone so you can get a couple little areas where there might be some highlights, so a couple little areas that are, that are lighter kind of shining through. So I think that's going to look really good. Alright, so ready to continue with this custom patina project. So just letting you check these out again, how it's looking right now. So this is with the Saphir Bordeaux base coat and then a custom mix of Fibings, Oxblood, and Angelus 
jet black. This has dry dye on it though, so really you can't tell exactly what the color is going to be. So this dye on the surface has like a haze to it, and some of that's going to come off right now. So I like to use Big Four, it's a conditioning lotion, and it tends to not remove too much dye. So I just want to remove anything that's not uh, penetrated into the leather, but I don't want to restrip the leather. And so I've found that Big Four just really works well at uh, removing only the surface dye and not um, stripping the leather. All right, so typically what I do at this point, let this sit for another few minutes, letting that conditioning lotion absorb into the leather, give them a quick brushing, and then we'll kind of assess where we're at again. So I'm gonna let these sit for a bit. After brushing them off, there's still a little bit too much of the lighter pink color, that original Saphir Bordeaux showing through. Uh, my fear was that they would be too dark, so I didn't go real heavy with the custom mix dye. Uh, but now after seeing these, I'm going to go ahead and go a little heavier with that uh, dye, go a second coat with that, and go ahead and darken these up a bit. I don't think it's going to be too dark, I think it's going to look good. I think that's good for now. Kind of let that sit overnight again and we'll kind of revisit this back in the morning. Just a little bit of a touch on this piping on the edges here. I think what I'll end up doing on, on those areas is probably touch them with black at the very end. All right, anxious to rehydrate these. See if they are just a little bit darker than before. Hoping so, expecting so. Yeah, definitely a richer uh, wine color. It is definitely a little bit darker. I think this is going to work, and then I can add a little. Uh, black burnishing is needed to, to darken it up further and to add, add some accents. So I think that's going to work perfect. Give these a little brushing and then let them sit for a while. I think we'll come back at them with a little bit of black to Burnish it up, add some accents, and I think they'll be ready. All right, ready to add some burnishing to these. So I'm using Angelus Jet Black. And I always like to get a relatively dry brush, so I'm dipping it in the, the dye, but then I'm wiping the brush off. Be too dark and heavy. Get the dry brush to, to make a more faded effect with it. We'll leave it right there for now. Get both of them to match and do another uh, round of the big four. Kind of wiping these off and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. We are nearing completion on this project. So I'm done with the dye work. I'm just going to put a little shine on these. 
I'm actually using wax from Carmina, some new, neutral wax from Carmina. And honestly, I do not know who makes this wax. It doesn't smell like any other wax that I've used. Um, my assumption was that they were using uh, Saphir and just kind of rebadging it. I know a lot of people do that. It doesn't smell like the Saphir wax, and I've compared it to all the other waxes that I have, and I have no idea who makes it. You know, maybe Carmine actually is making uh, wax and polish, but that just seems kind of unlikely. Most shoe companies, um, you know, they, they're rebadging things and, and selling it. Um, so I don't know. So if anybody knows, you know, put it down in the comments. I actually reached out to Carmina asking them. I haven't heard back. I don't think they want to. I don't think they want to tell me who's who's making it, which is fine. Um, so what I'm doing now, this is again is a neutral wax, and I'm just kind of lightly going over the entire shoe with this. Now you don't want to go too much with this. A very light coat over the entire shoe is okay, but um, if you try to mirror shine you know, up the vamp, it is going to crack. But I found that if you do just a kind of a thin coat like this, you can do it over the whole shoe and it doesn't cause a problem. A couple things. One, it is going to shine it up a little bit. Two, it removes any little bit of excess dye that maybe hasn't uh, uh, soaked in and that might be on the surface. And it's going to kind of seal uh, that dye in, you know, you don't want dye rubbing off later. So I use it as a as a sealer, this neutral wax. I will put a little bit higher shine on the heel and toe, but for now, this is just going to be this light coating over the entire shoe, and then I'll just brush it off. All right, I feel like that's looking pretty good there. So, usually, when you do mirror gloss, I like to apply a few coats by hand. So, the reason is I can kind of push it into the pores a little bit. The cloth tends to absorb a little bit of wax. I have applied two layers of uh, Saphir Mirror Gloss and neutral to the toes by hand. Now I'm really just looking at uh, finishing up a mirror shine there. So usually after I get about two coats by hand is when I start to use a cloth. So at that point I feel like I've got enough of a base built up that I can use the cloth. I feel like using a cloth from the beginning takes just a little bit longer. And those first couple layers by hand just um, again the goal is to just kind of fill in the pores of the leather and that's when you can really start to get that high shine. Got a little bit of wax here and the stitching, so yeah, it's always that'll happen sometimes with stitching, broguing, things like that. And just get a get a brush real quick and you can get it out of there. Not a problem. As I'm getting towards the very end here, I switched back to the Carmina in neutral. And I literally just Tap my fingers on the wax, a little drop of water, and buff with very light pressure here. So I think that just about does it here. Really happy with how these turned out. It's kind of a dark cherry color. And if I hadn't said it before, this is for a wedding, so you know it's uh, he's going to have a burgundy jacket. So I did want a burgundy tone, but at the same time I wanted it 
not too wild. I wanted it a little bit darker to make it more formal. In the sunlight, you can see some of the, the lighter coloration really shining through. And it did a little custom work on the sole too. So that'll be kind of a cool surprise for him, I think. Be able to see the coloration in that. Get some pictures of it as well. So yeah, a little custom sole action. Along with the patina shoes. And again, this is my own personal brand. So I'm MB Shoe Doc and these are Michael Darren shoes. Hope we enjoyed seeing this patina, my first patina on crust leather. So uh, drop a comment, like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.